in this video, we will factor quadratic trinomials with a greater than 1 following 5 easy steps. For step number 1, we need to multiply a and c. First, let us identify a, that is the coefficient of x squared, and b, that is the coefficient of x, and c constant is positive 6. Multiply a and c, that is 3 times 6 is equal to positive 18. Following step number 2, find the product of AC that gives a sum of B. So let us find the product of 18 that gives a sum of B, which is 11. So, it says here to make the sum positive, both numbers or factors must be positive as well. So, therefore, we have 1 times 18 is 18, and 1 plus 18 is equal to 19. This is not the pair that we're looking for. Next, we have 2 times 9 and 2 plus 9 is equal to 11. And this is the pair that we are looking for. Next step is we need to use the coefficient of x squared in both parentheses. So let's make parentheses here. And the coefficient of x squared is 3. So this will be 3x and 3x. So what will be the two numbers in the binomial? We will use positive 2 and positive 9. So we write plus 2 and plus 9. Next step is factor any common terms from each parentheses. Look at 3 and 2. Are there still any common factor? There's none because 3 and 2 are prime. So we will just copy it. But for 3 and 9, we can still simplify it and divide both by 3. So we have 3x divided by 3 is 1x or simply x. And positive 9 divided by 3 is equal to positive 3. So the factors of 3x squared plus 11x plus 6 are 3x plus 2 times x plus 3. How would you know if your answer is correct? Of course, we need to follow the last step. Always check your answer. How will you do that? So let us check by multiplying 3x plus 2 times x plus 3. You can use any method like FOIL distribution or box method but let us use FOIL 3x times x is equal to 3x squared 3x times 3 is equal to 9x and 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 3 is positive 6 so let us combine like terms. So 9x and 2x are like. So bring down 3x squared. And this will become 11x plus 6. Now, I want you to look at our problem. 3x squared plus 11x plus 6. Multiplying our answer factors of the problem. And after we checked, we got the same answer so therefore 
our factors is correct. Next example is factor 3x squared plus 7x minus 6. Step number 1 is multiply a times c. That is 3 times negative 6 is equal to negative 18. Question is, what are the factors of negative 18 that gives a sum of 7? So let us factor negative 18. According to the rule, to make the sum negative, the bigger number must be positive. So let's have 1 times 18. Of course, this is negative 18. And since our middle term is positive, the bigger number is positive, and this one is negative. What is the sum of negative 1 and 18? That is positive 17. So that's not the pair that we are looking for. Next, we have 2 times 9. According to the rule, the bigger factor must be positive. So this will be negative. So let us find a sum. What is negative 2 plus 9? That is positive 7, which is correct. Next, we will use the coefficient of x squared, which is 3, in both parentheses. So this will be 3x times 3x. And then, products of negative 18, that gives us a sum of 7, or negative 2, and positive 9. Next is we need to factor out any common term from each parenthesis just like our first example 3 and 2 has no common factor so we will just copy but for our next factor we divide both of them by 3 so we have 3x divided by 3 is 1x, or just simply x. 9 divided by 3 is positive 3. So therefore, factors of 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 are 3x minus 2 times x plus 3. To know if that is correct, let us check. Multiply 3x minus 2 times x plus 3 using FOIL. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 3 is equal to 9x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6. So let us combine like terms. Bring this down. 9x minus 2x is equal to positive 7x minus 6. Now, is 3x plus 7x minus 6 the same as our original problem? Yes, it is. Therefore, our answer, factors of 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 is correct. This example is the opposite of example number 2. So let's start. Multiply AC. That is 5 times positive 2 is equal to 10. To factor this, what are the factors of 10 that gives a sum of negative 7? So let us find the product of 10 that gives us a sum of negative 7. So in this rule, to make the sum negative, 
both factors must be negative as well. So let's see what is negative 1 times negative 10. Is that equal to negative 7? When we combine them, this is negative 11, and that's not the pair that we are looking for. Next, let's have negative 2 times negative 5. Of course, the product is positive 10, but is the sum of that equals negative 7? Yes, it is. Okay, and then let us put the coefficient of x squared in each parenthesis, which is 5x and 5x. And let us take our factors that gives a sum of 10 and a sum of negative 7. So let's put negative 2 and the other one is negative 5. Our final answer must be simplified, so make sure that um, we factor out any common terms from each parenthesis. So just like the other two examples, 5 and 2 are both prime, so we will just bring it down. But for 5x minus 5, we can still factor that out because 5 and 5 is common. So 5x divided by 5 is equal to 1x or simply x. And negative 5 divided by 5 is equal to negative 1. Now, the factors of 5x squared minus 7x plus 2 are 5x minus 2 times x minus 1. But again, to make sure that your answer is correct, we need to check. So, let us check by multiplying our factors. 5x minus 2 times x minus 1. 5x times x is equal to 5x squared. 5x times negative 1 is negative 5x, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and lastly, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Let us combine like terms. Negative 5x and 2x are similar, so let us bring down 5x squared and combine. That is negative 7x bring down 2 and our product will be the same as our problem therefore our answer or factors of 5x squared minus 7x or 5x minus 2 x plus 1 is correct this example is similar to the first so let's multiply a and c. 3 times negative 6 is equal to negative 18. Step number 2 is find the product of negative 18 that gives a sum of negative 7. So let us find products of negative 18 that gives a sum of negative 7. I want you to look at the middle term. So, to make the sum negative, the bigger number must be negative. So, let us factor. We have 1 times 18. So, which is bigger, 1 or 18? So, of course, it's 18 and B tells us the sign of the bigger number. Let us combine. When we add... 1 and, and negative 18, it gives us negative 17, so that's not the pair that we are looking for. So let's find 2 and 9. 9 is bigger than 2, so let's make it negative 9. Add 2 and negative 9, that is equal to negative 7, and we're done. 
So, again, let us use the coefficient of x squared in each of the parentheses and use the factors of negative 18 that gives a sum of negative 7. So, the sine of 2 is positive and the sine of 9 is negative. Just like our first three examples, we need to factor any common terms from each parentheses. So bring down 3x plus 2 because 3 and 2 are prime, but we can still simplify that. 3x divided by 3 is 1x or x, and negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So the factors of 3x squared minus 7x minus 6 are 3x plus 2 times x minus 3. Let us check to make sure. Okay, multiply 3x plus 2 times x minus 3. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times negative 3 is negative 9x. This is positive 2x and negative 6. Then combine like terms and it gives us negative 7x and bring down 6. As you can see, products of our factor is the same as the original problem so therefore this is correct so if you have any questions just put it in the comment box and i will get back to you for my students if you have any clarifications and you need more examples please let me know you can email me or you can Put your comment on the Google Classroom or in the box below. Have a good day everyone!